When I was a young boy, I was very ill. My immune system was not working as it should. I felt sick after meeting other children, so I had to stay in isolation. I was coughing so severely that on a few occasions, I almost fainted. My loving parents tried everything to help me, consulted every health practitioner. I was prescribed strong medications that alleviated my symptoms, but left me numb and without energy. Fortunately, when the situation seemed desperate, a friend of ours suggested treatment in nature. I repeatedly visited a treatment facility in the hills, breathing fresh air, moving between green trees and wild torrents. Surprisingly, this treatment healed me completely. A few years ago, I had a terrible burnout. The excessive workload has been combined with unhealthy lifestyle and disharmony in personal life. I felt sick once again. I isolated myself. My prospects were not rosy. Fortunately, I remembered what helped me last time and started to spend more time in nature. I became a passionate hiker, hiking each day after work and most of the weekends. Astonishingly, once again, this unusual treatment helped me completely. Twice in my life, nature had saved my life. Now, I would like to help nature as much as I can because it needs our help. I'm a computer scientist. I specialize in artificial intelligence, shortly AI. You may now be imagining me building a Terminator at home. However, AI is just a different paradigm of how to program computers. Instead of telling them what to do, you let them learn by themselves in the process called machine learning. AI gives computers the ability to see, hear, read, and comprehend everything. OK. It really now seems like building a Terminator. Uh, but with AI, we are able to solve tasks that were previously only solved by humans. You might be asking yourself, it's all fine what you are talking about now, but what has AI done for me lately? I mean, how do these robots or computers affect my life? OK, the answer depends on the level of your technological enthusiasm, but your day might look like this. You get up and grab your phone. I do it. To check your email. Your email provider filters messages from spam using AI. You check your favorite social network, the newsfeed is generated by AI. If you drive to work by a car, the best route is suggested by AI. If you do online shopping, products you would like to buy are once again suggested by AI. AI has brought significant advancements in a multitude of industries, yet, at this very moment, it seems that it is the nature that needs it the most. Many human activities like deforestation produce gases like carbon dioxide or methane. These gases accumulate in atmosphere and trap heat there, causing global warming. Global warming harms Earth's climate causing extreme weather. It also helps to melt ice in the polar. The corresponding increase in sea level 
threatens many cities to be flooded and to disappear under the sea completely. You might be surprised AI can help. For this reason, let's look at the three most possible of applications of AI in a battle against climate change. Most of you probably know the movie Wally. It's about the robots sent to Earth to help people clean the planet from the garbage. Although it is a science fiction, the idea from the movie strongly resonates with the, within the present day. Each day, we are producing more than one billion tons of waste. Burning this waste in the landfills produces more carbon dioxide, twice as much as the whole aviation sector. It's therefore necessary to think about the best strategies on how to manage such a huge amount of waste. You guess it correctly. Wally comes to the rescue, or at least a version of it. Landfills started using robots to sort the trash. They work like this. Robots are trained to distinguish all types of waste in all contamination levels using computer vision and machine learning. The waste moves through conveyor belts where it is picked up by robotic arms and distributed into categories. Researchers are now trying to improve this system by, by giving the robots the ability to touch and so improve the efficiency of this sorting. Robotic sorters have many adva advantages in comparison to the humans. They are faster, currently twice as fast as previously, and this is yet to improve. They lower the health hazards in the landfills. They will gradually help us reach the dream of a zero-waste economy. One of the most direst consequences of, natural, of uh, climate change is the intensification of natural disasters. However, we do not have to wait, to sit and wait, until the disaster strikes. In ancient Greece, when someone wanted to see the future, he or she went on a dangerous pilgrimage to a place called Delphi, where he or she asked priestesses called oracles kept in a drug-induced state. The pilgrim usually got a very mysterious answer that was, as you might guess, not very useful. Times have changed. When there is one field AI is good at, then it is a prediction. Researchers call it, therefore, the prediction machines. AI can predict stock prices, which is very tricky as there are so many variables included. Why not to apply them to the prediction of natural disasters? These systems work like this. AI is trained on past data, data from past, past extreme weather events. It then analyzes the data coming from sensors in an environment and tries to spot the familiar pattern it already saw in the trained data. data. If there is such a familiar pattern, it then notifies authorities, authorities notify people, and a lot of people and a lot of resources might be saved. I'm sure every one of you knows the saying. If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, if we want to save our planet, it should. Each year we are losing around 100,000 square kilometers of wood, about the size of South Korea, making deforestation one of the biggest contributors to climate change. Most of this activity is, according to the United Nations, not allowed. But monitoring this activity is a very tedious task taking place on the ground 
requiring a lot of resources. Once again, AI can help. This system constitutes in distributing the sound detecting sensors on the ground. These systems upload the sound to the cloud where AI analyzes it for any sign of chainsaw. And if present, it notifies authorities that can stop unallowed deforestation. Further improvement might be done using computer vision and satellite imagery. Artificial intelligence analyzes data coming from satellite images. And when it sees familiar pattern like building new forest road that would point to the possible deforestation preparation, it notifies authorities and this unallowed deforestation will be stopped. These are just three possible applications of AI in a battle against climate change. There are many more. Climate change looks like an unsolvable problem now. But we have faced something similar before. In the late 19th century, most of the cities of the world had one big problem. Transport system in these cities depended on horses, dozens of thousands of them, transporting goods and people around the cities. Do you know how much horse menu one horse produces? 10 kilo a day. These cities were drowning in these horse products. The Times Magazine predicted in 1894 that in 50 years we would all be buried under three meters of horse menu. It's more than 100 years after that and there is practically no more horse menu in the streets. What the people at that time could not predict was the arrival of a disruptive technology called a car. Motorized vehicles replaced horses on the streets and the problem disappeared. Similarly, as a car can solve the as a car solved the problem with horse mania, might another disruptive technology like AI solve our current problem with climate change. Therefore, do not despair. When you come home, start to think about the planet, because the solution to climate change might be just a few genial ideas apart. Until we have these technologies, your behavior plays a crucial role in preventing climate change. Protect the nature as much as you can. Recycle as much as possible. This earth is the only home we have, and at least for our generation, the only home we will ever have. Thank you.